Racing today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2015. I'm Reed O'Neill with CBTV News and 9. On today's show, we will be talking about the Panda Lamb. Now let's head over to the desk. I'm Megan. I'm Caroline. I'm Brooklyn. On today's show, we will be talking about a Tennessee grandmother. But first, let's ho head over to Weather with Brooklyn. Today is partially sunny because Hitler's still alive on the moon, brought to you by the Martian Jews. Now let's go to a PSA. Those of you who don't remember or don't care, Canada has been striking for more money. Oh, Canada. of Canadian descent in this school to stand up. Just look at all these fine Canadians in your school. Do you ever stop to think how important Canada is to the world? Well, uh, not very often because it ain't real. Don't give me that fat cat fancy lip wiggling. Is that right? Are you going to give Canada more money or not? You can't give money to something that just ain't there. <laughs> if Canada were real, what would they even do with more money? Just more money, you know. Canada doesn't get enough money. Other countries have lots of money. We want, we want some of that money. And this is why we can't have nice things. How about the internet? The internet makes lots of money. So give us some of that money. Yeah, give us internet money. Oh, yeah. Coupons to Bennigan's. And bubblegum. For every Canadian! Listen here, buddy. You ain't getting no more money. I'm not your buddy, guys! That was a lovely PSA. Now, the interesting fact of the day is a banana is a berry, but a strawberry is not. Now, let's head over to Sports with Megan. Band Spring Concert is the 14th at 7 in the gym, 18th through the 20th is Color Guard Auditions. Any 8th, 9th, 10th, or 11th grade student interested in playing basketball next year needs to see Coach Johnson during lunch or RTI this week. Also in sports, News will be playing on the Bermuda Triangle against Atlantis Water Natives. That's all for sports. Now let's go to lunch. Lunch for today will be stuffed crust pizza, garden salad, corn, fruit, and milk. And in line two will be chili pie, corn, fruit, and milk, and a side of Hitler. <laughs> Tomorrow's breakfast will be a Nutri-Grain bar, yogurt, and with fruit, juice, and milk. And in line two is, will be pancake on a stick with fruit, juice, and milk. Now it's all for lunch. Baby, won't you come my way? Got something I want to say. A Tennessee grandmother ran, ran a string of pill mills that ranked in $17.5 million in four years. Sylvia Hoffister has been charged with drug trafficking, several counts of money laundering, and money, money laundering conspiracy. She is currently awaiting federal trial. Her lawyer, Richard Escobar, says Hoffster has never been arrested before and is a good person and a good mother. He says she's hired counsel to investigate and set the story straight. Neighbors say Hofstetter didn't hide her influence throwing exaggerative pool parties and going all out to decorate her home for holidays. 
The government maintains Hofstetter was running several pain clinics for up to 100 addicts a day. Others were destroyed as legitimate operations that took insurance, but referred people to facilities where prescriptions were written. Birthdays today are Mr. Brosson. Award day is today, and scholarship day is the 15th. Why was the candy farmer so happy? Because he was a jolly rancher. Yeah. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. So listen to me if you care for your health You won't call me ginger unless you're ginger yourself Yeah, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger Yep, when you are a ginger life is pretty hard Years of ritual bullying in the schoolyard The kids call in your anger and fan of pants No invitation to the high school dance But you get up and learn to hold your head up You try to keep your cool and not get head up but until the feeling of ill is truly let up Then the word is ours and ours alone Don't you know that only a ginger Can call another ginger ginger Yep, only a ginger Can call another ginger ginger Oh, thanks for the news for another story, the... Staten Island Zoo recently posted a photo of Earl, a lovable lamb who looks astonishing like a panda. He's since been fittingly dubbed a panda lamb. He also, he's also the newest addition to the zoo, born a few Saturdays ago on April 25th. We just can't help but agree that this lamb's black circular eye markings make an unca- An uncanny resemblance to those of the bear normally found in South Central China. Well, that's all of the news for today. I'm Reed O'Neill with CBTV News and Nine signing off. Go Canada. <laughs>